Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Version 14 of WYSIWYG Web Builder allows you to add buttons to a jQuery dialog box. Now let's see how to do that. So I'll come to my toolbox and then I'm going to search for the dialog box in the jQuery section. So I have my dialog box in here. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to draw in this empty space. Now when I double click on my jQuery dialog box, at the top section where I have my uh, menus I have button as part of the options in here so when I click on the button section I get a chance of adding a couple of buttons in here so I'm going to hit on the add and then I'm going to add a button so I'm going to type button one and then I'm going to add button another button which is going to be my button two and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now when I go ahead and hit on OK again, you realize I have my buttons created in here. Now you may ask, what will you probably be using these buttons for? Now the good thing is that you can add events to these buttons. So when I come to the event section, I can actually configure the button to do something else, to probably link to a page, to open something, to create an animation, or do anything that you can probably do with the set of events you have in here. Now, in my case, let me just go ahead and then, um, let me go ahead and hit an OK, hit an OK. Now I'm going to apply an event to my jQuery dialog box, and then I'm going to configure it with a shape to show the dialog box, and then when I click on the button, something happens as well. So to get started with that, I'm going to come back to my toolbox, and then I'm going to locate the shape too. Now I'll click on shape, and then I'm going to draw and an empty space in here so let me just move this here i'll double click on this and then let me just type something in there so let's say more and then if i click on this button i'm going to have something to show so let me just highlight on this i'm going to change this to about white and then the size is going to be about 12 pixels now let me change the background to black since i have the text to be white i'll go ahead and hit on ok now let me move this somewhere here and then I'll double click on it. Now, when I go to the event section, I'm going to add an event. So on click, I want it to show. What should it show? It should show my dialog one here. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I want to have another event whereby when I load a page, the jQuery dialog box is not going to show. So to do that, I'm going to right click on an empty space, go to page properties, and then I'm going to go to the event section. Now, let me just clear off my event here i'm going to go ahead and create a new event so i'll come to add and then i'm going to come to the event section scroll to unload and then what i'm going to have as my action is going to be hide so let me just go ahead and select hide and then i'll come to my target so the target is going to be my jquery dialog box and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok hit on ok so let me just go ahead and preview this and see how that's going to turn out so I have my page, as you can see, the jQuery dialog box is not showing. By default, it should have shown. Now, when I hit on my button, it shows here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and configure these two buttons to something different. So let me just minimize this. I'll come back to my jQuery dialog box. I'll come to the button one, and then I'm going to double click on this. Now, what I'm going to do is when I click on button one, this particular shape should hide. So I'm going to hit on add. And then on click, I want to set that to height. That's the action. And my target is going to be shape one. So I'll go ahead and hit on OK. And then hit on OK now. So let's hit on OK again. And then preview this and see how that turns out. So when I hit on this, it gives me this option. When I click on this, this goes away. Now I'm going to configure the button two to show my button again. So I'll come back here, double click this, come to buttons, double click button two. And then under event, I hit on add and then on click, this is going to show. So it's going to show back my ship one. I'll go ahead and hit on OK and then hit on OK, hit on OK again and then go ahead and preview this. So when I hit on this, this shows. When I hit on this, this goes away. When I hit on this, this shows back. Now, another important feature that you have with the jQuery um, dialog box is that you can also make it responsive. So if we double click on it, and come to the RWD here, you have the chance of creating breakpoints. By default, you should have zero in here. Now you can create a breakpoint such as 320 or 480. So I'll go ahead and hit on OK for 480 pixels as my breakpoint. And then I come to my breakpoint manager to create my breakpoint. So I already have 320 and 480 pixels breakpoints already created. Now I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Let's go ahead and preview this and see how the jQuery 
a dialog box is going to show on our responsive mode so in my browser i'm going to click on the button to show my dialog box here so let me just go ahead and close it again come to my menu section here go to web developer and then select responsive design mode so this is mozilla and that's the options that i have there i'll go ahead and hit on my button here and this shows my jQuery dialog box as you can see it is responsive it shows or it fits the entire width of my 320 pixels i'm going to go ahead to change this to 480 pixels and since i scaled above 480 you see that it shows beautifully here so let me just even Makes it make this exact that's 480 and as you can see i have that in here so i can click on my buttons and then um there's something actually happening at the background so let me just expand the height of this a bit so we can see that so when i click on this as you can see um i should have my shape showing let me close this okay so this is my shape when i click on this this hides the shape and then when i click on this it shows the shape again i can close this click on this and this shows my jquery dialog box so that is a way on how to use um, buttons in jquery dialog box in wizard web builder version 14 you can probably use it in configuring forms and a couple of more options thank you very much for watching bye for now